I'm Jeff, and this is how to make a bracket in Microsoft Excel. Now, it's actually March Madness as I film this, so it's pretty timely. Uh, if you're wondering how to make a bracket, there's a lot of really advanced stuff you can do. The guy I knew who ran the pool, he did some pretty incredible stuff. It involves some coding, it involves some programming. You can go simpler than that if you need to, uh, just to get everybody's brackets in so you know what they want and, and who they're putting uh, their fictitious money on because betting is actually illegal, but it's totally fictitious. All right, so you can see here I've got my basic uh, bracket set up. It's a real simple, quick one. We've got quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. I've got Duke and Albany, Creighton and Cincinnati. Uh, now, over here, what we're going to do is we're going to decide who wins the Duke or Albany game. Now, I could just type it in, but what if I type in a, something that doesn't make any sense? What if I type in, you know, purple? What if I type in teddy bear? It, it won't work. We actually want to know who won, so we want to limit what other people can put into this cell. And to do that, we just have to use data validation. With the cell selected, I'm going to click data, validation, makes sense. And on the settings tab, I'm going to go to allow, and I'm going to pick a list. Now this tells us that we can actually decide what are the possible values in this cell. Uh, to get this list, I can actually go ahead and click the selector thing. I'm going to click on Duke, and I'm going to click uh, hold shift click to Albany. That's my range. If I click this again, you can see that it's actually put in the code for the range there. It's just like a formula or a function in Excel. You start with the equals, and then the, uh, you have a dollar sign uh, column letter, dollar sign row number. The colon is a range, just like it is in a function, and you're all set there. Hit OK, and we now have a little drop down uh, button here. So whenever I drop down, I can pick between those two possibilities, Duke or Albany. I'm going to pick Duke. Now, I've already actually finished up this particular mini bracket in this document here. So you can see that I put here the options for Duke or Albany, and here the other bracket going right into it. So if I, if I actually pick Duke here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pretend that Cincinnati won here, uh, I can actually use those exact same things, the, the, the data validation for those cells in this one. You can see that I've already done it, and it chooses from those two cells. We have Duke or Cincinnati. Now, even though those cells were filled themselves by data validation, they could only be one or the other, this one is filled by those using data validation, one or the other. That way, you get all the way from the quarterfinals to the semifinals to the finals, and you know who you picked, and if they won, and if you win fictitious money. I'm Jeff, and this is how to make a bracket in Microsoft Excel.